all right, next up, we're going to take um, sort of all of the things that we've learned so far. So we're going to deal a little bit with um, extrusions, right, and vectors. We learned about that last week. Um, and we're going to use the, the domain functions to create architectural features, as well as we're going to use um, list logic to define you know, sort of which elements are present and which ones might not be, and, and then, you know, how far they're being extruded and all that stuff. So we're going to use patterning logic. Um, so we're going to kind of combine and coalesce all this stuff into one, you know, architectural expression. It'll be very simple. It won't be super amazing yet, but um, I think you'll understand how it's supposed to work. So uh, I mentioned that we consistently uh, construct, deconstruct, and then reconstruct geometry. We don't always have to use the latest geometry in the sequence, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create, we have these like little frames here. Um, I'll draw it sort of an isometric. Like that, right? So we have a frame. It's flat, it's fine, doesn't matter. Um, but I want to create a uh, like a shade that fits into this frame. Not on, on top of, but into. So essentially it's going to stick out like this. Right? And that means like it's going to actually sit inside. So what do you think my best path forward is? Who's the clever one in the bunch that can take what we just did and do it again? but do it the right way. So I'm giving you a hint. We're, we're going to do what we just did, and we're going to do it again. So we basically uh, do the same thing, but on a smaller scale? On a smaller surface. Yeah, yeah. Okay. on the smaller surface right. is the key. Um, so. We're, yeah, well, I mean, so basically what I'm getting at is we have these surfaces, which already are inside the frame. So if we took exactly what we just did on, on that surface and, and apply it to that surface, then we could just kind of reduce the whole domain from the bottom up, up to there. Does that make sense? Yep. And that gives us our little awning edge that we're going to extrude. We should, we should probably draw a line. On the back side? Yeah. Like this. Is that what yeah, you're talking about? Exactly. Yeah, so we're going up to there. Um, yes, precisely. So let's take um, this and this, copy and paste it, pull it down, and literally just plug these surfaces in instead. Look at that. It's the greatest thing you've ever seen, isn't it? You're amazing, man. I don't know how you, how you Thank see you. this. How do you see this, man? It's incredible. Thank you. I can't see that. You'll be, you'll be as intelligent soon. It's not about intelligence. It's just about experience, right? All you have to do is see pathways, okay? That's what I'm trying to get into your heads is that, like, simplify things. Use the geometry at your, dis at your disposal. You have so much geometry that you're going to be creating and breaking apart and recreating into other things that you can use to make the next step easier. So um, so anyway, we've got that as our external frame. We have uh, this as our new interior um, awning thing. So I need to do a few things. I need to adjust where it's being extruded. So let me get into the numbers here. I'm going to um, reduce my U min and my U max so that it fits the width. Just down here in the bottom. Then I'm going to um, increase my V max so it goes all the way to the top. And then I will um, just pull up my V min. There we go. Perfect. Now I've got, um, turn that off. Now I have my empty frames and I have my awnings on top. Or shades. Call them shades, not awnings. Pretty cool, right? All right. Now we should extrude them. Um, 
Is there anything else I want to touch on with this first? Doing the same thing. Yeah, anyway. All right, so uh, let's see. How long would that one take? Five minutes. All right, I'm going to stop this video here, um, and I'm going to move into the extrusion part in the next video.